In this video, we'll show you how to install shaders in Minecraft Java PC. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So if you're tired of the flat vanilla lightings in Minecraft and you want better shadows, nicer waters, and overall better visuals, shaders are exactly what you're looking for. And in this video, I'll show you how to install it. All right, to easily install shaders, we're gonna use CurseForce client. So you can go to curseforce.com and once you're here, you wanna click on the top right, get CurseForce app. And then you're gonna download the standalone version and install it on your PC. Before we continue, a big thanks to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, go check them out. The link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Apex Hosting offers super fast performance with their high-speed servers, so your gameplay will be smooth and lag-free. Plus, they've got amazing customer support available 24-7 to help you out whenever you need it. Their setup process is incredibly easy, so you can start playing with your friends in minutes. If you use their service, you're supporting the channel. So, thank you so much. Alright, after Curse Force is installed on your PC, you want to open it up. And once you're here, you want to go to the Minecraft section. And as you can see here, I have mod packs installed. Now, to create a new mod pack, you can click Create. And then you want to give your mod pack a name. I'll just name it Shaders Mod Pack. And then you're going to select your Minecraft version. Now, one thing to note here is that the shader loader that we're going to install on the next step will not always available for the latest Minecraft version. And the same thing goes for the shaders itself. But don't worry, you can change it later. So here, just in case, I'll select Minecraft 121.11. And next, you're going to select your mod loader. Here, there is a lot of options you can choose, but most people are using Forge or Fabric. So in this video, I'll show you how to install it with Forge and also with Fabric. So for the first one, let's select Forge and then let's hit Create. Actually, let's change the name to Forge and then you're going to click Create. It'll start installing the mod pack. And after it's done, we need to install a shader loader. So you can click add content on the right. Then you're going to type in Embedium. Now, as you can see here, there is no result. It might be because Embedium is not available for the latest Minecraft version. So here, let's remove the filter. So it's going to be this one. As you can see, there's no button to install. So you can click on it to go to its page. And then once you're here, you want to go to the versions tab. And let's see the latest version that's available for Forge. So it's going to be this one. So here, I have to downgrade my mod pack to Minecraft 120.1. To do that, we can go back to the mod pack page and you want to click the three dots next to the play button and then just click on clone as. And here you can rename your mod pack and most importantly, let's change the Minecraft version. If I'm not mistaken, the latest version that's compatible is 120.1. So let's select that and then hit create. It will clone your mod pack with the Minecraft version you select. So let's go to the page and then hit add content again. Let's search for Embedium. And here there's an install button. So let's click that to install it. And after it's installed, you can go back to your modpack page. And as you can see, there's Embedium installed. So now let's install the shaders itself. You can go to shaders and then hit add content. And here there's so many options you can download and install. You can also install multiple shaders if you want. You just hit install. Let's install this one, this one, and this one. After that's all done, you're good to go. All right, now I'm going to show you how to install it for Fabric. So let's create a new mod pack. Let's name it Fabric. And for the Minecraft version, just to be safe so we don't have to change it anymore, let's select 120.1 again. And now let's select Fabric as the mod loader. Hit create, wait a bit for it to install. And now we can download the shader loader. Hit add content. And then you're going to type in iris so it's going to be this one and it's also available for my minecraft version let's hit install and that's done if you're using fabric you can also install a mod called sodium you can type in sodium this mod can increase your fps so it's a good thing to install it just hit install you can also install sodium dynamic lights just hit install and if you want to install another mod you can just hit install now let's go back under the mod section. There is iris shaders, sodium, sodium lights, and sodium options API. It's a good thing to install all of them. So now let's install the shaders itself. Go to the shaders section, hit add content, and then just hit install on the right side. All right, after you install everything, including the shader loader and also the shaders itself, you can hit play on the top right to launch Minecraft. All right, when I launch it, there is an error and it says that I have to install receive sodium options. So let's do that. So it's going to be this one. Hit install. After it's done, let's launch Minecraft again. All right, I'm inside the game. And now let's apply the shaders. So open up the pause menu and then go to options and then video settings. And because we install sodium, the UI is going to be a bit different. Now here to load the shader, you can click shader packs at the top. And then you're going to make sure shaders is enabled. And to select the shader, you can just click on it and hit apply. Wait for it a bit to load and after it loads, you can go back and as you can see, my Minecraft looks beautiful now. That means the shader is applied. Now you can open up the pause menu again and then go to options, video settings again, and then shader packs, you can click on shader pack settings. Here you can change your settings. You can customize it however you like. So for example, profile here, I can change it to potato if my PC is not strong enough or I can even change it to ultra if I wanna work my PC a bit. 
there's more settings you can customize so go ahead and do that if you want after you're done you can hit apply all right now that you know how to install shaders with forge and fabric just in case you're using minecraft launcher and playing vanilla minecraft you can also use optifine for that you can open up minecraft launcher and here before we install optifine make sure you have launched the minecraft installation at least once so here my minecraft version is 120.11 and to download optifine you can go to optifine.net i'll put the link in the description so go ahead and click that and once you're here you want to go to downloads tab on the top and you're going to download optifine that's compatible with your minecraft version you can hit show all versions to see the older ones but for me it's going to be 121.11 so i can click preview versions and i'm going to download this release so just hit download it'll bring you to an ad page just hit skip on the top right and hit download again save it somewhere in your pc by default it'll go to your downloads folder so just hit save and the download will start after you finish downloading go to your downloads folder and you'll have optifine in a jar file so to install it without mod loader you need to open this jar file to do that you'll need java installed on your pc if you haven't got java installed on your pc you can go to java.com and once you're here just click download java for desktop and then download and install the latest java on your pc once you've done that you can right click on the jar file open with choose another app select java from the list and hit always it'll open up optifine installer but before we hit install we need to close minecraft launcher so let's do that and then hit install after it's installed you can hit ok and open up minecraft launcher again all right after you install optifine on the bottom left make sure you select optifine profile if that's good you want to go to the installation step on the top look for your optifine installation and click the folder icon on the right it'll open up your minecraft installations and what you want to look for here is the shader packs folder if you don't have it you can just create a new folder and name it shader packs so let's open it up and this is the folder where you install your shaders and now let's download the shaders you can go back to cursedforce.com and once you're here you want to go to the minecraft section go to browse all and on the left click on shaders here you'll have a lot of options you can download and install so for example here i want to download complementary shaders i can click on it to go to the page and then let's go to the files tab and here you're going to download the release that's compatible with your minecraft version you can look at the game version here so for the latest release it's available for minecraft 120.11 click the three dots on the right and then hit download file save it somewhere on your pc hit save and it'll start downloading now i have the shader pack in a zip file to install it as i said before you just need to put your shader pack into the shader packs folder so just drag and drop it and that's done now let's go back to minecraft launcher and once again make sure you select optifine profile once you're inside the game open up the pause menu and go to options and if you install optifine correctly you'll have a new tab called shaders so let's open it you can click on the shader pack to select it it will load for a bit and it'll apply the shader now on the right side here you can tweak your settings you can also go to shader options for more settings and there we go the shader pack is applied and now my minecraft looks absolutely beautiful and that's it